Grace to you and peace. This is Mother Vicki from St. John's Episcopal Church, Getty Square in Yonkers. And today for our noonday service and for our litany for our country, we remember the martyrs of Uganda who were martyred on June 3rd, 1886, because the reading from Hebrews 10, 32 to 39 is so powerful as we remember George Floyd and we honor all the protesters who are protesting peacefully about the need for change in our country from the systemic racism and the white supremacy that has so made our country unequal. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. When I called, you answered me. You increased my strength within me. All the kings of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he cares for the lowly. He perceives the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand shall save me. The Lord will make good his purpose for me. O oh Lord, your love endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hebrews 10, 32 to 39. But recall those earlier days when after you had been enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and persecution, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion for those who were in prison, and you cheerfully accepted the plundering of your possessions, knowing that you yourselves possess something better and more lasting." Do not therefore abandon that confidence of yours. It brings a great reward. For you need endurance so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. For yet in a very little while, the one who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteous one will live by faith. My soul takes no pleasure in anyone who shrinks back. But we are not among those who shrink back and so are lost, but among those who have faith and are saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now a litany for the whole country. This comes from the Episcopal Church website, and it was originally a written for Minnesota but I have adapted it for use for the whole country. O God, in whose image the whole human family was created, we pray for all whose lives have been forever altered by racial violence. In particular, today we remember George Floyd, beloved child of God. Swaddle him in your boundless love. Cradle him in your peace. We remember George Floyd's family and friends, beloved children of God, each one. Swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember the residents of South Minneapolis, beloved children of God, who have seen their community disrupted by horrific violence. Swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember the protesters, beloved children of God, the 20,000 who marched the day after George Floyd's death, and those who are still gathering throughout the country to demand justice and change. Swaddle them in your boundless love, cradle them in your peace. We remember the residents of every community, beloved children of God, who have seen their neighborhood host terrifying violence and astonishing destruction. 
We remember those who have watched their livelihoods and places of work go up in flames. Swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember those who have been hurt or imprisoned during the riots of this past week. Beloved children of God, swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember the black community in America, beloved children of God, who have for decades cried out against injustice and brutality at the hands of police and who have not been heard by those with the power to make change. We remember every black brother and sister groaning under the weight of redlining, segregation, underfunded schools, unequal economic opportunity, indignity, and ever-present fear. Swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember our public officials, beloved children of God, managing a global pandemic and a passionate protest at the same time. Swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember our police officers, beloved children of God, whom we ask, often without appropriate training, to respond to human beings in their worst and most vulnerable moments. We remember the police officers who feel their loyalties divided or their cause unclear, who feel afraid for themselves, their brethren, their families, and their fellow citizens. Swaddle them in your boundless love. Cradle them in your peace. We remember every citizen of Minneapolis, of Minnesota, and of every state, beloved children of God. We have been traumatized, grief-stricken, enraged, and heart-sickened by the video of one neighbor slowly snuffing a life out of another by riots and looting, by the sounds of flashbang grenades, the sting of tear gas, the scent of smoke, and by our own helplessness. Swaddle us in your boundless love. Cradle us in your peace. We remember those who have pledged their lives to racist ideologies, beloved children of God. We acknowledge the pain they have caused to victims of violence, to their communities, to their families, and to their own souls. We acknowledge that each of us carries racist ideology within us, and we beg your mercy to free all your people from it. Swaddle us in your boundless love cradle us in your peace. We know that the sickness of racism is in this nation's very bedrock. Today, we acknowledge and repent of the twin original sins of this nation, the genocide of the indigenous people of this land and the institution of chattel slavery. We know that the shock waves from these sins still reverberate today, that the trauma from these sins live in our bodies and that the pain we suffer now has its origin in those first treacheries. Help us turn away from the sin of division and toward your all-encompassing love. We repent of laws that codify or allow unequal treatment based on race, ethnicity, religion, or skin tone. We repent of promises broken again and again. We repent of foreign policy that sees more value in some human lives than in others. Help us turn away from the sin of division and toward your all-encompassing love. We repent of the role of the church historically and presently in supporting and emboldening these policies. We repent of the ways that we have made your church a home to oppression, exclusion, or indignity for any child of God. Help us to turn away from the sin of division and toward your all-encompassing love. We repent of the ill use of your bounty, of our hoarding of land and wealth, manipulation of plants and animals, abuse of your creation, and of the suffering this causes to the most vulnerable people. Help us turn away from the sin of division and toward your all-encompassing love. We who benefit from white supremacy acknowledge that we have been given unearned privilege at the expense of our indigenous, black, Asian, Latin, brown-skinned, immigrant, and non-Christian siblings. We repent of the ways in which we have allowed our own fear, 
complacency, and incuriosity to blind us to the belovedness of your children, each like us, fearfully and wonderfully made. Help us turn away from the sin of division and toward your all-encompassing love. O oh God of infinite affection, you look at all that you have made and called it good. By your grace, help us to look upon your creation and see with your mothering eyes of love how good, how good, how good it is. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, by whose providence the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church, grant that we who remember before you the blessed martyrs of Uganda may, like them, be steadfast in our faith in Jesus Christ, to whom they give obedience even unto death, and by their sacrifice brought forth a plentiful harvest. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now I ask for your prayers, either silently or aloud. May the spirit of truth lead you into all truth, giving you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and to proclaim the wonderful works of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>